Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics, and this question's answered video, car holsters. Next to the house, the vehicle is probably the place a lot of us spend most of our time, and because of that, we try to come up with ways to add comfort to riding in the car with our firearm, most likely a handgun, and we can talk about rifles as well. Uh, reason being, you're in a seated position and sitting for extended periods of time is not necessarily comfortable depending on your chosen holster, your chosen carry position. So what some people have done, and this is certainly not a new concept by any stretch of the imagination, is affix a holster somewhere inside their vehicle, underneath the steering wheel, on the center console, on the transmission hump, uh, under the seat, on the door. There's a bunch of different places that people find a way to affix a holster to the inside of their vehicle. And then of course there's some purpose-built products out there uh, that are actually designed for you know a universal holster where there's like a nylon strap that goes around the seat to give you a little between the legs right on the front of the seat holster or underneath the steering wheel or any of the positions I just mentioned. There's probably a product for it. In fact, uh, a lot of your holsters that lend themselves to like a clip style can usually be affixed to a cup holder or um, your door pocket called a map pocket still which is crazy because I don't know any place that still sells physical maps for travel. Point being there's a market for it uh, there's a lot of products for it but is it necessarily the best decision? Well that depends on kind of your mindset about it. Of course, there's a positive to this, and the positive is the firearm is going to be maybe a little bit more accessible uh, to need inside the vehicle than if you were carrying appendix or the hip or the small, the back or the ankle or wherever your chosen carry position is. And there's pros and cons to all those carry positions, especially when we talk about being in a seated position. Uh, my problem with the car holster isn't that it makes the firearm more accessible, because it certainly does, depending, again, on your carry position but it lends itself too much to laziness, especially if you um, take your firearm out of your carry holster and then put it in the car holster when you're in the car. And then you take it out of the car holster and put it in your carry holster when you get out of the car. This would lend itself very well to that occasional, well, I'm just running into the gas station, I don't need to grab my gun, I don't wanna go through the whole hassle, so I'm just gonna leave it in the car and I'm gonna run inside which opens up two possibilities. One is theft of the firearm. If somebody's looking in your window, especially if you drive an SUV or a taller vehicle, somebody walking by can see that under the steering wheel holster out of the corner of their eye, break your window. Now your gun is now their gun. They didn't have to use any kind of gun show loophole. They just stole the firearm, which is where a lot of your firearms in the streets come from is theft from vehicles. If you have gun stickers on your car, your vehicle may be a larger target for theft. Uh, and that's a kind of a separate conversation, which I'll get into in a future video, but basically the vehicle holster, especially if you're leaving the gun in the holster in the vehicle when you're not in the vehicle, is it a higher risk of theft? Uh, even if the thief doesn't necessarily break into your car looking for a gun, it's kind of like payday if they find one. So if this is a method that you, you're using currently, you definitely have to take that into consideration. Of course, the argument of what are the chances of someone seeing my gun underneath the seat, well, what are the chances of you needing the gun when you leave it in the car when you run into the gas station to just grab a soda or something? Uh, statistics are great until they happen to you. The next factor to consider is accessibility. Is the firearm necessarily going to be more accessible from that vehicle holster than it would be from your chosen carry position? The answer may be yes, the answer may be no. Um, the, the dependent, really dependent on practice. And one thing that I see in my vehicle classes, and I always ask students this, you know, you're, you're about to shoot for two days in and around a vehicle. How often do you get a chance to do that? And the answer is usually not very often, or this is my first time. And then of course my next question is usually, are you guys gonna get to do this next week or next month, or again, at any time this year? And the answer is generally no, because it's kind of complicated and difficult to find a place where you can shoot uh, in and around a vehicle, especially when we talk about actually using the whole vehicle versus just rolling our window down and shooting out our passenger windows in our own vehicle if we have a range or a piece of land that allows that. Um, the car holster will lend itself very well uh, to certain types of situations, but it's not going to be as comprehensive as every type of situation. And you also have to consider the fact that if you have to bail out of the vehicle in an emergency, uh, or your main pr priority becomes not necessarily immediately shooting, but protecting a loved one, then you have a car holster, your gun is in it, you're exiting the vehicle to grab your wife, your kids, or, or whatever the situation is where you have a, another primary concern between accessing the firearm immediately, and now your gun is left in the car, or you're reduced to operating with one hand because you have to grab the gun and that loved one at the same time. 
Not necessarily the end of the world, but these are things that we need to think about when we make decisions on where we're going to keep our firearm in the vehicle. So when it comes to vehicle holsters, my personal opinion is if you have to, uh, I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, of course, this is state dependent. Some states aren't going to allow you to use a, a vehicle holster based on the way they, they word their, their concealed weapon laws for those people who have CCWs. Doesn't mean I agree with those laws, but the laws are the laws until we're able to change them for the better. Uh, I, I don't use a vehicle holster. I used to a long, long time ago and I kind of got out of the habit because it does lend itself very easily to complacency or laziness. Uh, and I'm certainly never been a fan of leaving a firearm, a handgun, in the car is like the car handgun. Uh, I would just prefer it to be the same firearm regardless. And not everybody has the kind of budget to where they can afford to have a separate gun kept in the, uh, kept in the vehicle in their car holster. Um, I keep my firearm in my holster, uh, but when I do get in the vehicle, I prep in the event that I need to draw that firearm. Now, not really the topic of the video, but I figured since it's kind of in the same category, bring it up, uh, vehicle rifles, truck guns, as they're, they're usually called. My best advice for that is have a realistic expectation of what it's actually gonna be used for and the likelihood of it being needed. And keeping in mind that you're less likely to need the vehicle rifle, even if the possibility, the possibility can definitely arise, uh, you need to secure it accordingly, especially if you're not going to take it in and out of the vehicle uh, when you park the vehicle, such as a folding, like if you use a law tactical folder in like a, an Arc'teryx, one of the Arc'teryx um, Assault 30 bags are great for folding uh, SBRs. And there's other bags out there for, you know, fuller, larger rifles. Uh, my car has a trunk vault and my truck has a console vault and that's how the, the rifles get stored. They only go in the vehicle when I'm going to be in it. They come out of the vehicle at the end of the day. But if someone were to break into the vehicle, they're going to have a hard time accessing my rifle. I don't really care for uh, methods to secure the firearm in the vehicle in a way that it can still be seen uh, because it becomes pretty tempting to access. And any product on the market, I mean, somebody could look in the window, and of course this is on the, the, the realm of uh, highly unlikely but still possible. Someone could look in the window, see you've got a Santa Cruz gun lock, get online, Google, and find a forum where guys are talking about the quickest and the fastest ways to defeat those. Most of your law enforcement centric rifle racks uh, can be opened with a handcuff key unless there's an override that, that's been programmed into it that requires a, a ignition on and button release, which some departments are super lazy about that and they just say, you know, you got to open it with your handcuff key. We're not hooking up the electronic aspect of it. And if you buy one on your own and you don't know how to do electrical wiring or you don't take it somewhere to have it wired correctly, you're going to have the same problem. And handcuff keys are handcuff keys. They're pretty universal. Uh, so that's definitely something to consider. If the mount can be seen, someone can do the time to do the research right there on their smartphone and figure out the way to defeat it. So for me, out of sight, out of mind, it's concealed within the vehicle. That does take me longer to access it, but since I'm not operating my own personal vehicle in a law enforcement fashion, I'm not as concerned with immediate access to my rifle. It's there just in case the stars align in such a way that I need a rifle because the handgun's not gonna get the job done. So that's pretty much my opinion on uh, in-car holsters and as a, as a secondary bonus, uh, talking about rifle shotguns uh, kept in the vehicle, your truck guns. If you have any other questions specific to this topic or any topic thereof, feel free to drop them in the comments section, comments section below. I'll be happy to make a video about it. I'm Aaron Count with Sage Dynamics. Training accordingly.